right now on Fox 5 News at 10. All right, America still celebrating tonight following the gold medal win by the U.S. women's hockey team at the Olympics. But one player on Team Canada didn't take so well to the loss. Yeah, and it is her action on the medal podium that is the sports world buzzing. Here's Matt King. To keep Canada's hopes alive, she is stuck! The United States wins gold! For the first time in six Olympic contests since a win in Nagano 20 years ago, the United States women's hockey team beat the Canadians, snapping Canada's 24-game win streak early Thursday morning Eastern time and earning the Americans a gold medal. I think I blacked out a little bit. Don't really remember what happened, but it's a dream come true. And for the Canadians, it's their life. I mean, it's their, uh, you know, next to breathing. Hockey is next up. That silver medal earned in consolation for an overtime loss to their fiercest rival in their national winter sport represented something of a national nightmare. And so, when presented with her medal, Canadian defense woman Jocelyn LaRoque immediately removed it from her neck and soon after found herself the subject of a debate around sportsmanship, passion, and the Olympic spirit. I understand the disappointment, but maybe do that when the cameras are on you. I mean, I get it. But at the same time, I feel like you should be a little more respectful to the ceremony. I feel bad for her, though. I feel like she really wanted to win, but it's her choice. I think it's fine. She's heartbroken. This is almost like a loss of a family member. And not getting the gold feels, she feels grief-stricken. Sports psychologist Dr. Lee Lago suggested Canadian coaches might have better trained the 29-year-old LaRoque, who already won a gold medal in Sochi, in emotional flexibility, so she might more successfully navigate a cumulative moment like this one, whether a winning one or a losing one. So many young, aspiring athletes look at these Olympians and say, that's who I want to be, that's the behavior I want to emulate. And an apparently disgusted silver medal winner perhaps sets a poor example but also one to which many, with no aspirations or possibilities to win any medal ever, found they could sort of relate. They're used to winning. In the West Village, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.